Hey, what is going on viewers? Zesty Alarm Studios here and welcome back to another Dreams Review. Today we're viewing another one of these Fanta drinks and this one is going to be on the Elderflower and Lemon. Yes, very interesting flavour here from Fanta. So I think I found this one, I've had it for a while in my fridge and forgot about it actually, but I believe I found this out of one of these kind of uh, kind of foreign corner shops where they stock like products, you know, uh, not necessarily American products, but you know, they're more of a like, uh, like a Polish shop, that's all like the Polish meats and bread, um, you know, the really awesome shops. And I believe this was in there, so I think it is a Polish can as well, I believe, or no, this particular can is, well, it says Berlin, so I think it's one of Germany actually, but anyway, it was in, it was in one of them type of shops anyway and I looked at it and thought oh elderflower and lemon that sounds interesting because you all know fan do lemon abroad anyway they don't get fancy lemon here in England anymore and elderflower well that's just interesting as it is so yeah elderflower we'll see very soon anyways so let's give you guys a 4360 over the can so we have obviously Fanta's new obviously updated design which I, I, I don't know I've never been a fan of really I much prefer their old design but there we go but anyways, most of the can is blue, which does not represent lemon or elderflower in whatsoever way. So I don't know why they chose blue, but there we go. The blue is nice and shiny though, I will give it that. And the logo and then just some ingredients and stuff on the back again. Nothing's in English, so we just have to take it with a pinch of salt. But um, yeah, pretty much your standard can really. Bottom's all silver and the top is all standard and silver, including the pull ring as well. So, uh, as I said, taking a close look from what we can guess from the can so the only thing that of interest really with these type of drinks anyway is the sugar content so the sugar content of this drink is 6.7 grams of sugar per 100 ml which is you know it's above half but it's somewhere in between half and obviously full sugar it's almost like four quarters sugar really but yeah 6.7 and 22, 22 grams of sugar in total but apart from that um fancy is owned by coca-cola if you didn't know but um yeah it's nothing else of interest to read um because again it's just a fizzy drink at the end of the day so it's nice and cold got my zesty arm studios cups nevertheless let's open it and hopefully it won't explode over me so i'm guessing the color is going to be I don't know. see i want to see a yellowy color to represent yeah i'm gonna guess it well yellow hmm. No, I'm thinking of a whitish colour because most time, most times lemon drinks are generally a whitish colour. So I'm guessing white or cloudy white, some sort of cloudy white anyway. Right, don't explode. There we go. We are safe. Right, and the colour is... Hey, it's white. I guess correct. Yippee. There we go. I'm just going to pour all of the can in there. Right, put that to one side, quickly get my, move my map. Oops, there we go, put that over there. So, I was correct with the colour because like I said, most lemon drinks are indeed a cloudy white. It's non-see-through as you cannot see my face through the drink. But yeah, just a box standard cloudy white as you'd expect. Anyway, let's take a closer smell and see what it smells of. Oh, interesting. So there is a kind of lemony smell there, but there is also a floral smell. Now I'm gonna use the word a floral smell as in like a florally kind of flower smell, which is the elderflower. Cause I don't wanna say, oh, it smells of elderflowers because let's be honest, 99.99% of people on the planet have not eaten or drank elderflower in any sort. So it really is a unique, smell for specifically elderflower as such so i'm just going to use the word like i said floral because that is technically the correct term as it is a a nice floral smell i.e a plant you know flowery smell if that makes sense yeah it does make sense so i'm going to use the word floral anyway so yes yeah, so it's got a florally smell with there definitely is lemon there but the definitely yeah the floral smell is definitely quite strong so Definitely is quite prominent in there, so it'd be interesting to see what it's like in the drink. So, nevertheless, guys, let's taste some. Oh my word. 
my wow okay that is interesting and different and initial reaction didn't seem that bad to be honest with you oh wow that is such a unique flavor oh my wow Ooh. Okay. Yeah, really interesting fans there. Really quite, in a way, impressed with that. That's certainly unique and out there. So, I think for having this amount of sugar in the drink, I think, see, I'm trying to imagine in my head what this would be like if it was a sugar-free version of this. I'm trying to think, would how would the floral taste kind of taste or would it taste nasty if it was with the sugar almost making it like a sweet kind of floral taste rather than say it being more of on a planty kind of floral you know floral taste so i'm really in two minds about whether it does deserve this amount of sugar or not but for this specific review and video and picking this up as a treat we'll just say that okay yes you know it's got the sugar in it um, or just you know deal with it as it is but um yeah so the sweetness i think works well though with the with the floral taste combining that with the lemon as well the lemon's more there in the background so it's not really the forefront of the drink i said the floor smell is really really strong and a lot more stronger than the lemon in general which is not a bad thing because you know so many of these drinks say that you know they're this or they're that or they've got a special flavor or special plant in it or something and then most of the time they don't really taste of what you know they're claiming to be but this actually does what it says on the actual can which is quite impressive so yeah definitely definitely the floor is coming out on the forefront there to be fair there's no chemical tastes or artificial tastes either as well with this one which is also a bonus the I said when you are actually drinking it though it almost takes you on like a roller coaster of kind of flavors it's like I said you kind of get a bit of lemon there and then you kind of get this you know this um floral vibe and then that kind of goes and you flow with that and then you kind of get the just a kind of nice sweet ending in general so you've kind of got that real nice mix of kind of three to four different blends throughout the drink which seem to actually make it quite nice and it definitely, of course, helps it's fizzy as well as, of course, you're a fan of a fizzy drink. So, you know, that's always you know, helps as well with a bonus. But, yeah, that's actually quite impressive. Um, yeah, let me take a few more sips. Yeah, the lemony. The, yeah, you definitely go through the waves with it. Yes, interesting. Hmm, interesting but well thought out. I think... Obviously, it's nice and cold, which always helps as well. I don't think this would taste nice warm whatsoever. But the thing is, I look at this and think, okay, this has been a nice treat drinking this drink. But would I really want to drink, you know, you know, by like a, a four litre massive, you know, like the massive ones in the shops or two litre or three litre, whatever they are. And, you know, drink pint, pints of this, like, you know, let's probably sort of drink pints of, you know, Fanta Zero Sugar and, you know, all of that stuff. But... I don't know whether it'd be too much. I think this can, I've said as a treat, maybe on a nice summer's day, yes, it would be nice. But I don't know, drinking can after can, like you can with the orange or the fruit twist, maybe it maybe get a bit too much or maybe it lose some of that kind of, you know, nice floral effect it has. I, I, you know, I'm not sure, I don't know. But as this is, as it now, it is really nice. So we've got to give it a rating out of 10. So I think I'm going, oh, it's going to be tough to rate this. I think... Mm. I think it is really unique. I think if you do see it in one of these shops and it's a reasonable price, I think do pick it up and give it a try as a treat, you know, just for the sake of saying, oh yeah, I've drank a elderflower, you know, Fanta. Um, in all honesty, I think, honestly, probably 7.5 to one with you. Yeah, probably 7.5. Maybe I should have gone for an eight, but I think 7.5, because like I said, you know, the reasons I gave, it might be a bit too much if you start drinking too many cans of it. I might the other flavours, but, you know, that's a different topic and I'll never know because I'm not going to buy any more cans of it. But anyways, 7.5 zesties out of 10. So, as always, viewers, thank you for watching and I'll see you all later.